point to our next example here. And I'll take it a little faster this time since I've been through the theory. So we need to find the minimum spanning tree for example B. Where do we start? I always start at A if there's an A. Next step, find the smallest value of A. 23, 20 or 33. I'm going to choose that value there, A to C. Now we're looking from either A or C. So I've got a 23, 33, 10 and 15, 25, quite a few values, but I can see that 10 is the lowest value coming out. Now I can cross off this path here, it's useless. Next step, looking from A, C and B now, I can see there's a 15 coming off D and I think that's the lowest there, double checking, yep, correct. Now I can cross off A to D, that's useless too. All right, now we're looking from um, B, C, and D now. What's the lowest? We've got a 23 and then a 21 on the bottom. So I'm going to choose that one. Exit up G. Next step, I've got to G. I can see there's a 17 there. So looking up F there. And we can cross off these useless ones now. Okay. So we've got B to E, 23. Uh, we've got a 12 there, E to F, let's choose that. And we have another useless edge there. Next one, we've got 35, 30 and 27. 27 is that last one. And there we have it. Now we want to state what the, um, oh, it's still up to E there. Just wait for the video to catch up. Now it starts at the, um, we've got to H now, we've covered everything up. So we're just going to add up all our vertices. So I've got 20 plus 10 plus 15, plus 21, 17, plus 12, plus 27. Now I have a total of 122, and it might be, you know, thousands of dollars or something like that, but the answer is 122, just add it up. Now I've got units. Remind us that most of these questions will be in context 